backpacking trip. Well, fish well places. We're gonna hike into some place today. Dry flies, beautiful country. It's August, so everything else sucks basically. So look at this. I mean, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Silver Springs, Nevada. <laughs> One of the cool things about this place that we're going is that it's full of Lahontan cutthroat trout, which if you pay attention to the show, if you know anything about Pyramid Lake, Nevada, Lahontan cutthroat trout are those giant fish that are growing in Pyramid Lake. And so we're going to the headwaters of where these fish basically started, you know, however long ago in the Ice Age. So the headwaters of the Truckee River goes into you know, Lake Tahoe, and then Lake Tahoe feeds the Truckee River, and then it ends up in Pyramid Lake. And Pyramid Lake is a caustic lake, which means the Truckee dumps in, but nothing goes out. So it's a very unique fishery. These fish have survived for, you know, millions of years up in this, this type of environment. And so it's kind of a cool story to show you've seen Pyramid all the time. So now we're going to the birthplace of where this water comes from, the Pete Pyramid Lake. Could be other comes in post. kind of starting into our hike it's like we've had such a crazy winter with the moisture and to see this late in August I mean the flowers are just popping everything's still out the, the pinks the reds whites purple I mean, look at the valley it's just insane and then there's fish on top of it to the top of the pass and you know spirits are high the blood's flowing we got the sweat the adrenaline's running heart rate heart rate's up now look at that i mean come on this is insane so we're at the headwaters of the Truckee river we're looking for lahontan cutthroat trout on dry flies that's the goal there's two lakes that it feeds into down here before it goes out and heads into the into lake tahoe we're gonna check it off we're gonna show it to you guys I mean, look right, at this view. Oh, yeah, No, 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 I gave you dry cleaning for a year. <laughs> down through here. We've already seen some fish eating dries off the top. The uh, excitement is at 10 at least. But one, one of the pro tips of the week is when, you, when you're looking for a camp spot, you wanna make sure you find a nice flat area where like if it rains tonight, where all that water coming off that hill is gonna try to go right into your tent. That's what we're looking for when we're looking for a good camp spot. 
hopefully some mosquitoes around because of the water. A plus. came out with a new precision dry stealth and this is a addition to the phantom tip that we've been making for years highly successful line uh, one of the best sellers in the saltwater market for spooky fish like tarpon permit bonefish so we wanted to bring that application to the trout world so the precision dry stealth has a 15 foot clear uh, front loaded part of the fly line so spooky fish you know, the, the Montana waters that get hammered, dry flies where you're, you're slapping stuff down, they're gonna see that shadow of the line. With this, you don't have to worry about that. You can, you can get away with a lot more. And, and let's just face it, it's just another, you know, it's another advantage that you can put in, in your court for you. So you'll see us today when we're fishing these, this, this precision dry. It's a, it's a tiny little crystal clear creek there is some pressure up here, not a ton, but if you slap the line down, they're gonna get spooked. So today, with the precision dry stealth, it'll probably be a little bit less, especially with Johnny's casting. Go elk hair? Oh yeah. You think you start yeah, there? I would. Always. I, I got a little grass, or a good sized grasshopper on. If you go elk hair caddis, which is a classic. And Starter. Then, yeah, and then Justin's gonna go with a parachute Adam. Well, it's got camp all set up. We got all the li new lines on, rods ready. We're gonna go try to scare some fish. You no, know, we've seen a couple people fishing kind of right through here, which is the tourist area in my opinion. So we're gonna we're gonna walk up that way another maybe I don't know six or eight miles. See what we can find. Hopefully some un unpressured fish because I like them dumb. Just got Waking up this morning, waking up before it's getting nine. Kind of heavy on my shoulders, oh, uh, down some yes. money back in time. Dude, he just murdered that thing. He came down, down river. Minute, you know oh, that's a big one. That's a nice fish. That's a brown. No, that's a Lahontan. Look at that. Lahon my first little Lahontan cut there out of the trip up here. They want the grasshopper. Cutthroat, look at that, beautiful. That. Look at that beautiful Lahontan cutthroat. All right, we're gonna get him in here and let him go. Oh man, that water is cold. Yeah, that's uh, you crushed that. Man. Yeah, that's two on the hopper, so that's, that's something to be said for that. He might have a pattern. He and he turned and murdered it. I threw it up above there and just drifted it down. He came from behind it and just wild. <laughs> Voracious little buggers. We all started at a full house, and ended up just me and good old James. I could swore that I was winning, kinda had a feeling. Last thing I remember, I was drinking till the moon shine. Oh my. Turns out that I just got a little bit south, just a little bit north. Of the Georgia line. Dude, he came out from under the bushes and just crashed that thing. Another good one, dude. Look at the size of that one. Eating the hoppers, baby. It's so crazy how pretty these fish are compared to the big ones at Pyramid or whatever. I mean, look at the beautiful markings on it. Mm. 
beautiful fish. There, I'm just gonna let it go. Oh gosh, hit a weed. I just spooked one to you. He didn't eat the hopper. That's where I want it. Oh, he first cast. He just slammed that thing. Dude, his whole head came up out of the water. As soon as it hit the water, I just slapped it down on the water. And I, all I saw was this whole... <laughs> well, that was a good run, too, right under the trees. Okay. We made a little hike uh, after we got here. And we... Uh, all four of us walked up and kind of got a lay of the land and it, it's pretty boggy up there, honestly. It's uh, different than kind of the mountain creeks that I'm used to fishing where you can just walk along the edge and fish. It's actually got pretty marshy in there. So we uh, we all have different things on to start with and immediately, you know, Cessford cast in there with a little stimulator, nothing. Jeff was casting in there with something, nothing. I went in there with a grasshopper and boom, right away. And then boom, right away. Pretty soon all of us got grasshoppers on, so. Uh, they're definitely eating grasshopper, even the little little ones about that big are eating a big old grasshopper. So that's kind of fun. And, uh, you know, we kind of worked our way around, figured out that we need crocs and walk the middle of the creek because it's really boggy. So we came back, got it resituating. And we Just cast it. in the game. This is very narrow right here. Yeah, it is. So a good streamer hole. They're gonna take this elk care, dude. Yeah, well, they already did. You just, I know. Just get to see it. Well, I could see it because all the way around the corner. Justin had a little better angle than I did since he was around the corner. Let me know if you see something, Justin. <laughs> Tell me, I can't see set. a damn thing at this point. Be like a guide set. All the way down past Dennis's. <laughs> Dude, he just slurped it down. <laughs> oh, what a fish. That's a big one. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that fish, huh? Dude, that went. I just slid that thing yeah. right around the corner. I see it go behind the bushes and just a. <laughs> oh, what a fish. Look at that. how yellow they are. Oh, perfect. Look at that. I'm not gonna lie. That water is brisk, baby. Oh, yeah, look at that beauty. Oh, nature. He's long, actually. Look how long that fish is. <laughs> Just stay around. You're probably better angle than you got. Casting what you need to do, Dennis, cross the creek. Uh, no fake, no fake. Oh, look, he just ate, too. Did you say dressing? Uh oh. Uh oh. Dude, right on him. This 
Still if I would have quit filming, too, of course. I called, I called the shot. <laughs> oh, it's cool. I can, I can actually see this fish. You just right drift it down? Brush. Around the corner, Dennis? Just right here, yeah. yeah I called it. He just he swam out, took a look at it for a second, and then just hammered that thing. God, these fish are gorgeous in here. So cool to see, like, the Lahontan cutthroats that, you know, I caught a million of them in my life, but, you know, when they're sitting in different environments, living in different places, to see the colors. I mean, look at the colors on those things. The black dots, like the, the orange-yellow color, the red, those heavy spots on the tail. Oh, just cool.